say to people who ask me how life is in DG Connect that it's excellent, but I often add that there are many things we're able to do in DG Connect that you can only do with a particular commissioner uh, supporting you, and that's Nelly. And I think if over the last couple of years, first with Antti Peltomarki and now with myself in charge of the Equal Opportunities and Diversity Working Group, we've been able to do a lot. It is uh, because Nelly cares about these things and leads on them and takes us out of our comfort zone. I mean, thanks to Nelly, I ended up in Amsterdam addressing a theater full of LGBT activists from the corporate sector in that country. And that taught me a lot, preparing for it and engaging in it. And in the equal opportunities and diversity space in the DG, I personally have also learned a lot. So I'm very grateful, Nelly, both that you support this work and that you've come to give some prizes today. The floor is yours. Thank you, Robert. Good afternoon, everybody. I was one moment fearing that I would get the same experience as I had uh, yesterday in Dusseldorf. Um, I was introduced for my speech, uh, and uh, it was a professor, so I thought that is solid, and um, that can uh, be a very interesting opening of the conference, and then I can just preach what we, what you, are so active in and then he took for an hour the floor. So I'm grateful <laughs> that it is a little bit shorter, uh, Robert. Uh, ha having said that, um, I learned a long, long time ago, and that is the advantage if you are uh, a little bit older. I learned a long time ago that if you are um, just addressing an audience, and certainly an, an audience that he highly respects, then don't take too much time from them. Be short and just make not all your points, for then they are lost. Then they are thinking of other issues, for example, of issues that are just waiting in the office or even more important uh, at home. Having said that, um, I also learned that, and that is perhaps my Dutch background, no miles, no food. And you have to produce and you have to um, indeed perform. And that is what I'm highly interested in. That is for me one of the main um, recognitions in all those people that are joining DG Connect. And I pretend to have some uh, material to, uh, to make a comparison for second term in office and having um, had uh, the opportunity to look in another DG too. This DG, by far, is more fascinating, and you would say, come on, don't be polite. Keep your pot of honey aside, for we don't buy that. And I am absolutely open and fair to you. This content of this portfolio slash of this DG is absolutely fascinating because it's so close to people. It's much closer to people than, for example, competition. For competition, I was appreciated or not. I built a lot of enemies, but also a couple of friends, uh, because the fines were uh, not, uh, not recognized, for it was uh, quite high, and people were saying, I never ever heard about that amount of money. But having said this, this portfolio, talking about the digitization of our society, is indeed talking about your neighbor. It is talking about your friends, it is talking about your children, or it's talking about what you really think is an important issue for uh, the next generation. Having, that, what, having made that point, that is what you are on a daily basis busy with. And I can understand that now and then you are thinking, my goodness, barely more, goodness gracious, I, by the way, never thought it was a good idea to split the DG, the cabinet, and the commissioner. But okay, for obvious reasons, the president preferred that, and I can imagine why he is preferring that. But closer to, if you allow me to say, to your people, to you, would be far more attractive. And I often am saying, and Joe is uh, just um, on the same page, that uh, we should go uh, for visits and for interventions far more than we are doing. But okay, uh, life can still be changed, so uh, I'm continuing my visits to UNIT and so on. 
keeping the line that I would be short. What is absolutely for me main in this DG Connect, that we attract the best people, the best talent, fitting in what is at stake with the digital agenda. And that means talent, that means also motivation, and that means also competence. Well, um, I, I do have the impression, and I haven't met all the people in DG Connect, I'm aware of that, but that most are very competent, are very talented, and are very motivated. But I'm not absolutely certain if you have the same feeling. And therefore, I think this initiative is absolutely an important one for this was not only giving you an opportunity to find out how can we just put in the middle that talking about motivation and talking about just transparency, what is at stake, that that is so important. And now a couple of you have done their utmost, and most of you are doing that on a daily basis. But management of talent, then you are talking. Management of talent where you can prove that it is a two-way traffic, that it is win-win. And that, for me, is the most important part. The most important part, that you do have the feeling, and not only you, but all your colleagues, that you do have the feeling that it makes sense to go to the office, that it makes sense to do your utmost, that it makes sense to just skip a lot of other very nice and attractive issues because you are involved in what you are doing and motivation on the right moment, on the right spot, but also getting recognition for me is absolutely main. And, well, I'm tempted to ask who is sometimes going to the office and thinking, goodness gracious, again a day. Is there someone? You <laughs> and a short memory. Okay, that, that combination and then we are talking. Well, I think that is absolutely main. And what I'm always trying, together with the cabinet and together with the management of DG Connect in, and explaining also to, to Robert and his uh, colleagues, is don't be risk avoiding. So I won't mind to be confronted with mistakes. For I strongly believe if people are risk avoiding, then we are missing so much talent. For if you are just for thinking, oh my goodness, if I'm doing this, if I'm doing that. So come on, risk, risk taking. And of course in the line, what is the goal? And the goal is to be quite recognizable what we could do with DG Connect. And it is a horizontal portfolio that has the pluses and the minuses, but it is highly important and with only behaving within that small cater and isolated, we are missing opportunities. So I'm grateful to all of you and to all of your colleagues, but please come out of your comfort zone. Please keep indeed uh, that motivation that originally was reason for you to join Connect, but keep it and also one issue. Don't think too much of what could be the consequence of a failure? That is the opposite. I always say I learn more from my failures and I can assure you my list of failures is much longer than my list of successes. And of the list of failures, I got the motivation. That should never happen again and do my utmost. Well, last word, um, still seven months to go. And I sincerely think that it could be a little bit longer than seven months talking about Commission Barroso II, um, well, for obvious reasons. Um, and in seven months plus, we still can do quite a bit. So don't use this period as thinking, my goodness, we are continuing what we are doing. Still, let's take initiatives and let's explain to the outside world what's all about. And I'm not certain what is... Now we Okay. So I will. We we now are five prizes away from a drink. So 
I will announce the prize winners, and Nelly will give the prizes. So the first was the best prize for a cooperative approach to equal opportunities and diversity, where the principles as a whole were the most systematically executed. And here we thought that Directorate G, not only but including the bit in Luxembourg, but also A2 in Luxembourg, really showed the most strategic approach. So they are the first winners. Will they come forward? <laughs> Manuela. You're all alone. Don't tell me that you were not aware. Uh, well, a bit. Uh, yeah. We were hoping. Yeah. Okay, okay. You, okay. Yeah. you in the middle. You in the middle. Okay. And is your team here too? Yes. Uh, Inca. Where? Inca. Then they have to you. come. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. That was the idea. <laughs> the company awards, I think, the presentation, because uh, the fact that typical and the fact that we try to be as much cooperative and strategic mm -hmm. as possible and contributing, our, taking our share in making connect an attractive uh, uh, working place, both in thank Luxembourg thank and thank in Brussels. Brussels. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, exactly. I have yeah. a, a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, what would you I do don't... if you had Robert's position? <laughs> now then, Nelly, usually I, I, it's not on offer, but you never know, it might be on offer. Uh, <laughs> shall I start by borrowing his car, for example? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I think that I'm lucky that I'm not Robert, because he's uh, probably too challenging. And uh, in my job, in my daily life, I'm very happy to be able to reconcile both my work and my family. And that's why I'm also working hard in order to make this possible for all my colleagues. And I'm very pleased that uh, now that uh, there were a few vacancies in Luxembourg, they are filling also with uh, colleagues from Brussels. So it means that Luxembourg is becoming as attractive as Brussels. And we are there to welcome them. And uh, we, in this group, uh, it was really a pleasure. First, this is the first day that I meet uh, physically all the colleagues, not uh, over the screen, and uh, that we could exchange a lot of experiences and best practice. And uh, yeah, the other day I had uh, a phone call. I was teleworking, and my phone was redirected. And I answered, and it was a colleague from D2, and say, hello, tomorrow I'm teleworking. Oh, good for you. How can I help you? Ah, how can I redirect my phone? Say, why are you calling me? I'm not the help desk. No, but uh, on Connected, I came through your uh, slide on how to you know, let uh, the colleagues know that you are teleworking. So it means that the sharing of information is <laughs> working well. Still, I suggested the colleagues to call the help desk, not me, <laughs> for the next time. <laughs> but, but still be yes. very ambitious, for yeah. don't exclude that a position at a certain moment is yeah. available. <laughs> and that even can be done in telco, in telco work. Okay, thanks a lot, and uh, it's a really pleasure. And then the, the second prize was the prize for the most innovative initiative, where we're going to give it for the creation of quality circles for the first time within the DG maybe for the first time within the Commission, and the prize therefore goes to Directorate A and A3. So everybody from there has to come at once. Is this all from the Directorate? Yeah. From yeah. 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 Come on, Khalil. Khalil is a, yes, come on. Can and, and because we yeah. made two for you. Have some work. No. <laughs> you want our surprise? No. I think no. They were you, you were aware. Yeah. 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 I think so. <laughs> we hope so. Okay. Okay. And tell me, uh, let change. What would you do if you were me? Um, my car. Okay, but it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> but in what sense? Well, so if you uh, should be offered the, uh, the portfolio of the digital agenda as a commissioner, what would you do for you have inside information? Um, take the, take the yeah. microphone. Yeah. Speak into the microphone. <laughs> it might pick and, up and you keep your, for otherwise I take it. Mm. 
Well, um, basically, I mean, it was nice to do this quality circle and uh, because it shows that uh, we can work better together. And it's also very nice because we could see that the colleagues are more collaborative. And um, as soon as the, the charter was uh, established, um, um, I could say that uh, the, um, no, sorry. But, but tell, tell me, what is your advice to Robert and myself? For we are cooperating, but I'm certain that you now and then think, is there a different planet? Or, no? <laughs> <laughs> we are doing a great job, Robert. Please, I'm not <laughs> Are we? Are you agreeing? Yeah. <laughs> Galil, now you have to take the floor. <laughs> I, I won't believe you if you were saying. <laughs> Uh, we learned a lot from, from this exercise. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, what we learned most is that when people feel responsible and they're empowered, they, they can do marvelous things. And I must say for this exercise, it was done by the group, by their own. They, they agreed on what to do together, on things we were dreaming of doing ourselves before. But they spontaneously came up with it. They engaged, they did it in a speedy way, in record time, and uh, we'll cross our fingers, so it continues. <laughs> uh, I think that, uh, th that is a lesson. Okay. Good. Go on. Thank you. The, the third prize we've given is for replicable practice. So this is for something which if others thought of it and had the energy, they could do it tomorrow, and we wish we would. And the prize goes to Unit H6 for their very clever implementation of the principle of flexible working. So, H6. there were any hurdles actually it was done in a it was co-created um, we've done a number of different aspects um, we all like to work with each other and we're very we're really a team and that really helps so deciding that there would be two days a week when everybody's present in the office was a really easy thing to do and not just so that we can have meetings but so that we can socialize with each other as well um, for example, um, the work we've done together with the um, operational units, we're in a, a finance and administration unit, um, has also been, it's been something that's been done from the bottom up, so management only came in at the last, um, at the last minute, really. Um, and it's been a really enjoyable process. I don't know, Anne and, uh, Anne and Brigitte, you were two of the um, lead instigators of the bottom up um, approach. And I mean, I've seen you both be really empowered by the process. I don't know whether you feel you feel the same way. Yes, Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, are you feeling the same? Yes, mm. totally. And is this your first DG where you were working, or do yes. you have experience in other ones? And so I've come from DG Trade, and I've worked in a delegation as well. Yeah, so, yeah. And I have to say, I really enjoy working in DG Connect. I really enjoy the atmosphere. It's very collaborative. There's not the same sense of cutthroat competition that you get in DG Trade. It really is a pleasure to work. And, and also great people, some really great minds. Is that your experience too? For I can't <laughs> believe That's it. That's something you disagree with. <laughs> It's your experience too? It is. Well, it's yeah. the only DG, the only place where I've been working within the Commission. So okay. I don't yeah. have a lot of comparison, but, but still a nice, a nice place to work. And if there is one negative point for, I can't believe that there is not one negative, and then we can take that into a positive. Am I allowed to say, okay, I think that our Director General, who is very dynamic, maybe does his initiatives too quickly one after another without giving staff time to breathe <laughs> and absorb <laughs> his initiatives. Yeah. And now he will tell you that it's me. Um, no. But don't believe him, yeah. don't believe him. I'll go on holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.
And now, the penultimate prize. The, the jury, Nelly, thought we were only giving four prizes, but we gave a fifth. And we gave it because uh, Special Prix du Jury. There was a, a, a Web 2.0 creation around an equal opportunities issue. So the issue is harassment and how to prevent it. But the idea that we can just go out there and use uh, creative content tools and put a video up on our web, that was new. And so we give a special prix du jury to Irena Riviere Osipov. Congratulations, and Thank you, you. you are already expecting my question. Why did, no, <laughs> why, this, question. No, why this issue? Why this issue? I think it is because it's sensitive, and it's, yeah. I think it is one of those, as, as the whole uh, equal opportunities policy. I think the, um, what, what is at stake is the fact that we have the power to change things collectively, but I think there is also a an individual responsibility on people. And I think we have, uh, the, we have to, take the, to have the courage to stand for a point individually, also with colleagues, also with, um, with our management. And I, I think, um, I, I thought I, I could have this, uh, this uh, possibility. The, 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 other, uh, the, the importance of, uh, of the topic, I think it's also in the light of all the whole picture that we have put on the paper, mm -hmm. on, the, on the table with the whole set of principles. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And last but not least, we, it, it's a bit like Je sens frontière or uh, Strictly Come Dancing. The audience gets to vote as well. And so all the entries were submitted to a popular vote among DG Connect staff. And the, the staff elected uh, H6 again as the best voted by staff on Connected. So there's a second prize, but a different one, given not by the jury, but by the staff to H6, which means flexible working is the way to go. So could I just say a couple of words? On yeah, the get the a photograph first. Yeah. Yeah. The in photograph. In the middle. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So. Don't hide. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. So take the floor. Yeah, Morton's turn. Yeah, Morton's turn. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, I'll just take the microphone if you, yeah, if, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, allow please, it one, one second. Um, and this is not the Oscars, so I won't <laughs> do it long. Uh, and, and, but I do want to say two, two rounds of thanks, actually. And the first one would be to, the, to, to, to you, Vice President, yourself. Because I think you have given uh, line managers like myself a license to actually uh, be creative uh, in allowing staff to uh, to do things which they find is important so it's very difficult it's very difficult uh, it's very easy to support actually uh, when when staff have issues and you know that you have the license to actually say how can we solve that together so i think your inspiration surely also from robert and others in the room uh, have made that sort of managerial task very easy so it's a question actually of, of finding out how can we more easily get to say yes uh, and when we have the license to do that, I think that, that works well. So that was the first, um, the first round of thanks. The other part, and that is to use the Oscar uh, analogy again, I guess, is that it's very easy uh, here to say thanks to all the co-actors, because this was actually co-acting, and there was not even a producer, because the producers were the ones who actually did the telework initiative uh, themselves. If there was anything, of a management role, it was sort of more the, the financier or the, uh, the sort of um, uh, the, the, the motivating role for actually codifying it and getting it uh, down so we can spread this practice. The part of telework which our prize is about is that it's something that's there to stay. Uh, it's something that is an individual right under certain conditions, but it's something, something that also could be extremely helpful to the workplace, but only if it's managed and not just sort of hidden in the corner. The reason why this came up was that there was one particular colleague that said to me, I don't know where your colleague is. I, and I say, well, she's teleworking. Well, then I'll call tomorrow. But that was the whole point. I mean, teleworking is work. Yeah. So no, you don't call tomorrow. You call now, and, and she will pick up the phone, I'm sure. So branding that and actually putting on our doors 
the signs of where I am, putting in our out of office messages that I'm working, but I'm just teleworking, so I'm not in the office, but please do give me a call or, or mail me, is part of actually spreading this. And I think some things of this is already spreading. So it's not only important for the ones teleworking, it's important for everybody else so that we avoid, um, if you will, suspicion or other things around the teleworkers. And only that way can we roll it out properly. Thank you. So if, if you allow me, Nelly, I think let me also conclude with thanks, because I think the way in which the colleagues have spoken about their experience proves what I said at the beginning. We've been able to do that because you're here with us. And secondly, uh, I think it remains only for me then to invite all the prize winners to join us for a group photograph, which will then be followed by a group drink. So <laughs> thank you very much to everybody. So we are, are we repeating this next year? Yeah, why not? Yeah? No, but that's I'm the asking. idea. Ah, is that yeah. a good? I think we want yeah. to. Okay. okay. If you yeah. think that's yeah. a good idea. <laughs> so everybody, come up for the group photograph of the prize winners. So I think we're going to have to put it down.